Yeah, that's a great question and, and one that's so important right now with the level of uh, economic inequality that we're experiencing. Um, of course, that's something that's not just unique to Durham. It's something that's experienced across the country. Um, we need to make sure that uh, we're keeping a bottom-up lens um, to, to the way that we govern and ensuring that we are empowering um, those at the bottom and governing for those who are most in need. Um, we need to make sure, and part of that is ensuring that we keep um, the public buses uh, free, um, that they are taking people to the places that they need to get to, um, that they are arriving at a, at a rapid frequency, and overall operating under, uh, under a, a future vision where um, we, we imagine a city that's just as easy to get around in a bus as it is in, in a car, which um, is hard to imagine, but, but something that, that I think that we should, we should aim for as a North Star. Uh, we need to make sure that we have affordable housing and affordable living in a city that, that people can continue to afford to live in um, and that we're not pushing people out just because uh, they aren't wealthy enough. Um, we need to improve that, uh, ensure that we are protecting and improving um, the existing affordable housing that we have. Um, we need to make sure that we're building new affordable housing. Um, and then we need to ensure that uh, the affordable housing that we have remains affordable in perpetuity. And that um, in new developments where there are market rate uh, units that, that a portion of those are, are being um, fed into a system of, of affordable housing as well. Um, and then at the very bottom, we, I mean, we, we really just have to focus resources on providing um, shelter to people who don't have homes at all. Um, we know people are homeless for complicated reasons, and that needs to be an absolute priority for us as a city.